Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are taking a look at January 2016's Tokyo Tree, and my god, have these guys had a revamp or what? Check out the new box! It's awesome! It's bigger! Uh, to start off with, and it is now uh, like this beautiful orange with Tokyo Treat on the front and all this lovely stuff. I mean, yeah, I know it's fantastic, right? Okay, so the best thing for us to do, as always, is just dive straight in here. We're going to taste things, and then we're going to also be tasting things on the ASMR cast as well if you prefer a more relaxed uh, environment for your unboxings. But I'm sure you guys just want to see what crazy Japanese stuff we've got today. So without further ado, we're going to do that exact thing. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice when you actually open this box is not only do they have a new looking cool, fantastic box, but they also have a Tokyo Treat magazine now, rather than having a Tokyo Treat just sort of piece of paper that tells you about the information. But the cheat sheet, the cheat sheet my apologies, is still inside here. Um, it just tells you sort of a bits and pieces about the boxes, but here is the all-important cheat sheet. So that's what I need to tell you guys all about each thing that's inside here. And actually, it seems like there are quite a lot of Pokemon related things in this box, which as far as I'm concerned is absolutely fantastic. But to start off this video, we've got to try two different packs of crisp related things. And the first of which looks quite scary. This is in the small packaging. As you guys know, as per usual, there is a small box, a medium box, and a large box. The small box has a few bits and pieces. In this case, it has five. The medium box has five other things. And then it also has the things that are in the small box. So you put those together. And then the large box has an additional four things, plus the five medium, plus the five small. Hope that makes sense. Let's try tasting some things then. This is the Tyrant Hanbanaro, or Hanbanero, who came back. What does that mean? I have no idea. But it does say these crunchy rings are delicious and dangerously addictive. Um, it's from Habanero Peppers, which is a hot and salty treat. I'm a little bit worried, but we always try these things, uh, you know, with an open mind. Uh, if we can actually open them, that is. There we go. Perfect. We'll just open this one side and have a look. Oh, they're actually really tiny. I was expecting like a big crisp, but actually they're... Can you see that? I'll do it against my shirt. They're just like tiny, tiny, tiny things. Okay. Oh. Oh wow, yeah. They're quite spicy. Really spicy. What? What? Yeah. But they're actually really, really nice. Oh my god. They're like. They're like something that I've had before. But I can't think of what. But they're not, they're not like fluffy or anything like that. They're just really crunchy and really nice. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. After the video's finished, after I've recorded uh, both sets, those are literally going in my gob. And they ain't coming back. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, that's the first thing. We'll pop that down here. Uh, try and get my... I'll, I'll put this over here so you guys don't need to worry about that. So uh, this thing can go all the way over here then. Tell you what, let's just, let's just start from there. That's the first thing. Okay. Second thing we have is actually a caramel corn. And I know quite a lot of you guys do like the caramel corn stuff, which is great. Personally, I'm not a huge fan, but I'm still going to try it because this is the calf cast and we can't shy away from things like this. Apart from the really scary looking things, then we can shy away, I think. Uh, this is the Yokai Watch Character Soft Serve Ice Cream Caramel Corn. Wow. Okay. So yeah, literally it has a picture of an ice cream on the front. I'm sure, again, you guys are going to get a close-up if you can't see these things uh, on the video itself. But this is a little sort of puffs of... Wow, that is so weird. It's like a like a puff crisp, like a what's it Or a cheese it But then it's like the sweetest thing you've ever tasted. Uh, and then on top of that, it has like a ice cream flavour. It actually tastes like ice cream. So there's like a whole mix of emotions just coming through. Um, but it's actually pretty tasty. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the next thing that we're going to check out, let's just keep on going. We're just going to pick up things at random. This apparently is, is not actually an eaty thing. Uh, it's a looky thing. 
Um, and so what it is, it has a chewing gum inside it, but it's a Pokemon sticker matching chewing gum. So essentially, we're going to move this over to the other side. Essentially, what it is, is that uh, I'll show you guys. I open it up. And it has inside a piece of gum. It's a tiny, stupid piece of gum. But the main thing that you're buying is this that you can see here. It's a Pichu, Pikachu, and Raichu uh, sticker thing, sticker board. And then inside it, if you take a look, I'll open it up, you have loads of different stickers. And essentially what you need to do is you need to take these stickers one by one and match them up onto this to make a puzzle. So uh, it's essentially like a, like a puzzle, uh, but it's like a sticker puzzle instead. So that's quite a cool little thing. Um, I have no idea what the chewing is gonna taste like, but uh, I'm not gonna open it right now because then that'll be half an hour's worth of chewing and then we can't taste anything else. So let's carry on and look at something that looks like a fish. Golden fish, this is called Fuku Fuku Thai Chocolate. In Japan, there has been a long time custom to enjoy the fresh taste of sea bream during the new year. And because of that, many Thailand dishes are enjoyed, wow, that's ridiculous, resembling the Puku Puku feel of Thailand. This beam, bream shaped chocolate confectionaries are a sweet and simple treat for the new year. So, let's see if we can open this one nicely. We can, just about. Seems to be, apparently, just fish-shaped chocolate, uh, which I'm okay with. And there was me sitting there that it was going to be that simple. No, no. No, no. It's not lots of tiny little chocolate fishes. It's one ginormous fish. <laughs> if you can believe that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little nibble of his tail uh, and then probably eat the whole thing later on because this is all just delicious stuff so far. Apart from that caramel corn. Mmm. Oh, it's like a um, it's like a sort of soft chocolate, but it's nice. It's very nice. Uh, if if it wasn't for the fact that I had to record a second video after this, I would probably just eat that whole thing. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. So that's the Fugu Fugu Thai chocolate. And moving on from here, we have got a couple of DIY kits, which I'll just quickly get out of the way now. Um, this one and this one as well. It looks like to me. I'm just double checking. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep, this is it. So this is a Nuru Nuru Nurune soda flavor um, candy thing with little hard candies, and you make a you DIY sort of like a whip of candy, and then you put stuff on top of it like sprinkles essentially, and that makes something. So we're going to open that as a separate thing over on the ASMR cast because DIY kits take about half an hour to do. So that's a separate video, and also we have the ability to make little sort of uh, animals. Um, and enjoy them. And I've done this, I think I've done something similar to this before, which is quite cool actually. Um, but it's a case of essentially making them and then freezing them or putting them in the fridge and they go hard and they become like a, a proper physical candy that you can then go ahead and eat after that as well. So pretty cool, but again, it's a DIY kit, so it's in a separate video. But already, all of this stuff, and we've still got millions of things to go. So I'm gonna try to get through them here for you. We got a second Pokemon item here. This is a chocolate wafer. We've had these before. It's literally the same as what the fish is, so I'm not going to open it for you guys. But what I will, I will open it, but I'm not going to eat it um, because we know exactly what it is. But what I will do is I will find out what Pokemon sticker we get because, as you guys hopefully know by now, whenever you open one of these wafers, you also get a cool sticker as well. Although I'm struggling to open it, we're going to have to get out our trusty scissors because otherwise we're going to be struggling here forever and ever. So we'll just quickly snip this down here. Snip, 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 snip. There we go. Lovely. And now we should... Oh dear, I didn't, I didn't snip it hard enough. No! Come on, calf. You can do it. Just snip off it in the right place so we can open it. There we go. That's more like it. Now it's opened. And there it is. So, what sticker did we get? That's, that's the question on everybody's lips. And the answer is, we got, oh my god, it's a new one. Who's that? Who's that Pokemon? Let me in the comments, let me know, because uh, I'm interested to find out. But it's just a chocolate wafer. I'll show it to you guys as well, so you can just get a chance to see it. There's the wafer, and there's the chocolate on the inside. Literally, that's all, that, that's all it is. It's nothing, nothing interesting. We've had them like five times on this channel. Uh, so there you go, that's a, another Pokemon thing. But we haven't stopped yet, more Pokemon things to go. Um, this, however, is not a Pokemon thing. I don't think it looks like a ring shape. It's like a like a big hula hoop. Uh, let's find out what it is. It's a yokai watch, so that's the character. Fortune Seal Namaste Curry. 
It's like a paper fortune inside here, which is a fortune blessing, but also a curry snack as well. So that sounds pretty interesting. Definitely worth taking a look at that. So let's go ahead and do all the noisy unboxing parts quickly. There we go. Open that up. Now, the paper fortune should be in here somewhere. Yeah, it's on the side, I think, inside this little thing, which we will open quickly and take a look. There we go. Managed to get that open nice and quickly. Oh, yeah, we're racing through things now. This is great. Uh, it's actually a little dude. <laughs> there he is. Who's that character? Oh, man. Again, I'll try and close up these things for you guys so you can see them, but that's from Bandai, apparently. And we've also got this little bag of sweeties. Sweeties. Something. Curried flavour, it said. So, uh, they look like hula hoops. You guys can see those, I think. Yep. Ow. Oh. Mm. Yeah. They're like curried hula hoops, which is not definitely not a bad thing at all. So, that's one that can go there. So much stuff. So much stuff. We're not even, not even near done yet. We've also got a whole rail of Pikachu related candies. Let's have a look. Uh, this apparently is a five pack, one, two, three, four, five, of Ramune, which is like um, coin flavor. Well, they're different flavors. They've got pineapple, cola, soda, grape, and then five types of melon. Okay, sure, fine. You can see that's grape, that's soda, that's cola, that's green, and that's pineapple. So this must be the melon one here, I guess. And they just have, I guess what we can do, we can we can have one of them. Why not? Let's just go for it, shall we? Let's get the horrible one out of the way, uh, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll enjoy the rest at another time. Put them right there. All it is, Rumune, is like uh, sort of um, a specific type of sort of like soda flavour, and then different flavours on top of that for these tiny little disc-shaped kind of hard candies. Oh, yep. That tastes like grape. And Rumune. So it, it's doing the job that it said that it would do. Oh, I'm not a fan of grape, but it's okay. It's not too bad. Wow, man, Jesus. Okay, so we're still going here. We've actually got a toy this time around, which is quite cool. This is called, this is from the premium section. It's a Pokemon Moncole 12 Species Assortment. Special item of the month is not food or a drink, but an amazing figurine from the Pokemon franchise. Enjoy opening your Pokemon toy box, not knowing which monster you will get. Up to 12 different options from the monster you receive, and we will hope you end up getting the one you want. Okay. Well, it looks like we already know which one we've got, because you can see it. He's just there. Anybody name this guy? Tell me who it is in the uh, in the comments down below. You can tell me the English name or the Japanese name. Um, but I'm going to leave him in the box, because it looks like it's just literally him that gets popped onto this base, and that's it. That's all that happens. So, uh, so yeah, pretty cool, though. And it's, nice, it's always nice to get a little toy. Um, rather than just loaded candies. So Tokyo Dreet once again are absolutely outdoing themselves. You'd think we were almost done, but no. We've still got four things. Four things to go. How about a delicious beverage? Are you struggling? I'm not, gonna, I'm not having this. There's no way. I, th these things are, are just horrible. <laughs> and they're really thick and weird. So this is... Uh, basically, it's called Amazake. It's a high-quality sweet sake. Um, a non-alcoholic sake, I imagine, because this is a box advertised at kids. As the new year approaches, the traditional beverage style of choice in Japan are those with sweet flavours. This drink in particular is enjoyed warm, and we think you will love it. That way too. Enjoy this non-alcoholic sake that is both sweet and invigorating. Great to have during any alcohol any holiday celebration in brackets contains one percent alcohol so there you go uh i don't drink i'm not a drinker i never have been i never will be so i'm not going to be having this um but it is here for i'll give it to somebody i'm sure though i can find somebody that will be interested in trying this um so there you go that's uh, that's another one of those things that's pretty exciting We've also got some pineapple flavoured Pokemon chewing candies. Not gum, chewing candies. Uh, it's just pineapple flavoured apparently. So we've given, we've used our one. Not gonna have. Oh, it looks like chewing gum though. Oh no. Okay, it might be chewing gum. So we may have to end the video with this. Um, but there are five different versions. 
as you can see. Uh, this is so cool, actually. Look at this. There's a Gyarados one, and a Squirtle one, and a Gengar one, and another Squirtle one, and, like, something else. I have no idea. Man, that's crazy. But there are, there are five different types of gum in here. So we're definitely going to try those uh, out. But we'll do it at the end, because if, it's a, if it is chewing gum, and it takes me a million years to chew through it, then I'll have to do loads of post-editing, and that would be really bad when you have to do 14 unboxings in one day. Ugh, come on. I actually can't get them back in the... There we go. Did it. Okay, cool. Right, so that's that. There's also two more things now. The second to last is a Choco Ball uh, from... Let's have a look. It's a co Chocolate Ball Peanut. Um, popular staple of Japanese living, apparently. Uh, it's supposed to be just a nice standard peanut flavoured... Uh, chocolate covered peanut like a peanut m&m maybe but uh instead of being an m&m it is apparently uh, an ar toy uh, and i've opened it and we're on we're on let's do this let's get the big one there's a nice big one here oh mm, yeah peanut m&m and nice as well again okay, a nice thing the only things out of this that I'm not fat, I'm not enjoying at all. Drink? No, thank you. Prefer Amunes. More Amunes, please, Tokyo Treat. And Caramel Corn as well. I'll be a fan of that. But, last but not least, we finally have a Pocky. It's always nice to get some Pocky. Especially chocolate Pocky. This apparently is two packs of Melt-in-Your-Mouth Winter Pocky. Um, okay. This is apparently a for taste of biscuit and chocolate dipped in decadent cocoa powder. Ah, okay. Well... I mean, we do love a bit of Perf Pocky here at the Cathcast. There's two packs as well. Really luxury, uh, it looks like, on the on the packaging as well. So let's go ahead and give this a go. Uh, here we go. Uh, ah! Ready? Oh, yeah. Just great. Great tasting Pocky. And that's important. And they've done a good job with it. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I'm going to finish this. And then we're going to open one of these gums. Open the yellow one, because it's almost open anyway. And then we're done. So, have a quick drink here. And then, if you want to get one of these yourself, you can do. Really simple to do. TokyoTreat.com mm. They're really, really awesome. As you can see, to be honest with you, month by month, these guys are fantastic. They're consistently uh, really supportive and they always want to send out boxes for us to check out. I really enjoy doing it every time with you guys. Loads of fun. This looks weird, um, but I'm going to eat it. Uh, here we go. Ow. Mm. Right, it tastes like pineapple. Yeah. Pineapple. Still pineapple. And pineapple. Okay, there you go. Until next time, guys, I've been Kaffa the Kafcast. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Tokyo Treat for yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. You've been watching the Kafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Kafcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.